many habits are developed from a very young age and persist for the rest of our lives. The benefits in terms of cost savings and health outcomes of preventive health initiative for expectant mothers and children could thus be tremendous in the long term. I would now like to discuss more about the health outcomes under Healthier SG. What, get me what gets measured gets done. Both performance metrics and targets should be set before embarking on Healthier SG. I'm glad to see that the white paper has listed some short-term and long-term metrics. However, it does not provide their, their targets. Without targets, these metrics hold much less meaning. I filed PQs to be answered by the Minister tomorrow on the targets for various short- and long-term preventive health metrics. These include the, the, targets, the target screening rates for chronic diseases, the proportion of residents actively using the Healthy365 app, the obesity rate, and the avoidable emergency department attendance rate. I look forward to the Minister's reply to these questions. The achievement of these targets should be closely monitored so that adjustments can be made to, achieve, to better achieve them. Um, and I stress to focus first on measuring and tracking uh, and, and doing something with it. I'm a little bit more ambivalent about the suggestion by um, the member, Mr. Gerald, Mr. Gerald Yam, to you know, put a target on um, every KPI, uh, especially with um, you know, some of these KPIs. It's, as, as, uh, as the member Denise Farr said, it's very easy to, uh, say, to, to achieve them. It can set some really perverse incentives. Uh, what's really important is to identify the right KPIs, measure them, and actually use them to make our system better. So I urge um, MOH to make a real push to measure health outcomes from the beginning. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I just want to make a clarification to uh, Ms. Mariam, who uh, just now she mentioned that she was concerned about setting targets uh, to accompany the KPIs because she mentioned that the hospitals could game the system. Uh, I just want to clarify if that's, if that's what she said because uh, the KPIs that I mentioned were all KPIs that were mentioned in the white paper. So which of the KPIs is she not concerned that the hospitals will gain? Will gain? Ms. Mariam? Uh, thank you. Um, I think I'm just making a general point that we've seen in multiple studies uh, that uh, some, sometimes target setting too early when you don't actually have a good base behind it, can actually create a lot of perverse incentives. I'm not saying that hospitals will do it, I'm not saying that doctors will do it, but I don't think we need to uh, actually take that risk and instead focus on the measurement, identifying the right ones in the first place, measuring, um, and then also making sure that we keep doing better and better on those KPIs. Mr. Gerald Giam. So is Ms. Mariam saying that we should not set targets right now even though we have the KPIs or should we, is she suggesting that there's a certain time frame later on that we should set the targets and if so when will that be? Ms. Mariam Jaffa? Sure. Um, I think we, can't, we, we would need to look at different KPIs. Some KPIs maybe you can set a target, but the majority I believe we, we need to walk before we run. This is a very major transformation um, and like I said, we should scrutinize the KPIs on the page first to make sure that uh, uh, those are the right ones um, that we want to measure. Um, I can't say when is the right time to measure it, um, but I expect that will come in future once we have more data. I think it's important to do this based on a good fact base of data.